It's Jeff Pulver, and I just stood up uh, from uh, the blur that I've been living in the past few days to say thank you to everyone who's uh, contributed to this 140-character conference. I really just felt, uh, well, it was a little overwhelming, and at the same time, true appreciation. It's uh, been a long time since I've been feeling like the way I feel, particularly overwhelmed with work and uh, not enough time to get things done. At the same time, an understanding that something special is about to happen, and I want to thank everyone who's been part of that process, particularly the people who I never met, people who I really don't know, but were kind enough to nominate somebody as a character during the nomination process back in April, people who recommended others as the panels came together, and particularly everybody who, who's helped spread the word. So really, thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. I, um, I really do. And... The serendipity of everything that's happening and living in the now and what's going to happen next week is just uh, overwhelming at times. So I just wanted to just tell you, thank you very much. And uh, if you're traveling to New York City from around the world or next door, thanks for giving of yourself and coming to the event. Uh, particularly thanks to all the people who will be speaking and sharing their thoughts uh, as we explore you know, Twitter as a platform and its effects uh, on celebrity and the media and politics and just everything that's happening in business. It's just incredible. And who knew that uh, Time Magazine would run a cover story about Twitter? And who knew that uh, so many other people would join the bandwagon? I didn't. But I knew something was brewing. I knew that uh, something was happening to pop culture, and not only in America, but around the world. And you know, probably t to no surprise to anyone that there are people joining us uh, from Europe, from the Middle East, from Australia, and South America. It's a pretty incredible happening. And it would not have happened if it wasn't for the people on Twitter. It would not have happened if it wasn't actually, well, my friend Chris Brogan, who introduced me to Twitter back in January 2007. I still remember walking in the show floor at CES trying to figure out where to go and what was hot, and he knew. And then uh, when I got onto Twitter in February uh, 2007, uh, Chris said, uh, well, if I just follow the people who I follow, you'll find some interesting people and you'll figure it out. Well, I did. But I never knew that figuring it out would one day mean that uh, I'd have the uh, privilege and the opportunity to create, to host, to produce uh, what's become the 140 Character Conference. So and anyway, thank you all for being a part of this process. Um, I, I just am um, uh, overwhelmed. Well, really in a blur, but a good blur. And I just wanted to speak up and say hi and, and uh, just let everyone know I, I do mean thank you from the bottom of me and top of me too. And I look forward to catching up with everybody in New York City just a few days.